Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. I'm just leaving the grocery store for the first time. I've never done this before, have I? And then started a video? Never. But anyway, we'll drive around through Marble Falls, but what I wanted to talk about was a viewer left a comment which was very good and very helpful for people that are interested in electric bikes or electric trikes and using them at national parks and forests and stuff. She left a link to National Park Service, the new bike, electric bike policy. And I will leave a link in the description of this video also for those of you that are bikers, etc., that go to national parks. And I'm sure some of you do. But having said that, let me, oh, this guy's turning left. Okay, but anyway. <clears throat> I read the guidelines, the policy, it's a, not that lengthy, but generally, or basically what it says is the policy for electric bikes, electric trikes, is the same as regular bikes. You can go everywhere, they go on the regular bikes, except well now you can well the regular bikes can't go out in the wilderness areas either so you can go everywhere an electric bike can go now if you're on federal property let's say you're in a state that requires an electric bike or trike to be insured and be registered if you're on a national on, on national park property that does not apply but if you go off the national park property then you have to uh, abide by whatever guidelines are are in that state in Texas you know we're not a uh, in Texas there, there's I think there's only like seven states that require people to register electric bikes and trikes Texas is not one of them and New Mexico does not have uh, any uh, policies or guidelines for electric trikes and bikes as far as I can find and that's where I have my second home base but having said that, moving right along here, nice day here in Central Texas, 72 degrees. As you can see, we don't have our perfectly blue sky today. We've got a perfectly cloudy sky, which is a fall look, which should be, it's November the 20th. This coffee shop over on the right is called Mojo. Man, they have lines there sometime that block traffic. Speaking of blocking traffic, can you see that guy in that car right up in here, right in there? The pickup pulled out of the gas station and blocked the traffic lane. Not a real Sharpie there, right? But let's go, guys. Let's go. Get me out of here. This is Highway 281 going north and south. We're fixing to go north, as in north. It is a nice day, guys. I do enjoy the electric trike, electric bike the electric trike from right now the one I'm riding is from Bolton but I have one coming tomorrow I just verified it with the shipper it's in Austin Texas now they'll deliver it tomorrow between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. it is a Liberty trike fat tire trike Liberty fat tire trike and you can find that at Liberty trike.com not trikes but Liberty trike no s yeah, they're good folks. They've treated me very fair, and so, yeah, I, I hope that if anybody buys a trike from them that they will have a good, as good an experience as I've had. Gasoline in Central Texas today, well, at Walmart, it's 2.09, and I just got it at the grocery store. It was 2.11, and what I'm checking is, for some reason, I know this has a lot to do with electric trikes and electric bikes at the National Park, but it does but what it is, is, is you know, a point in every direction is a perfect circle. And having said that, the uh, I've been buying gas at Murphy at Walmart, and I noticed that my gas mileage was a little less than it has been for some reason, and my son suggested trying buying, get, try buying gas from a different location and see if that doesn't make any difference. And I did. I've been buying it at the grocery store, and actually it's gone up a little over a half a mile of the gallon now what you know I, I can't really attribute that to anything other than the gasoline because my driving habits are the same all the time 
but electric bikes and electric trikes guys it's just like the electric car movement they're selling the hell out of them i mean believe me they are extremely popular and the, the interesting thing about it is for what you pay for a good regular bike you can get a good electric bike in the same way with the electric trikes they make trikes or three-wheel bicycles that do not have battery power and they run about I don't know around five to six hundred dollars for the good ones and you, you can you get an electric trike for that price no not that I don't think so. you might but it would be very good I don't think but no the, the electric trikes a uh, good one's going to cost you around fifteen hundred dollars in that range is it worth it it is to me at my age I'm 74 temperature is 72 top down degrees what am I going to do when I grow up I don't know when am I going to head out to uh, Capitan New Mexico I think I may start and head may start heading that direction in March you know, assuming that I can get the electrical hooked up uh, by the 1st of May at the latest, you have to allow 90 days for the electrical co-op or whatever it is to check out the property and then to get the electrician there to put in a new pole and stuff. But yeah, I'll I hope to arrive there by the 1st of May, but I'll leave out of probably Texas in, in April and then I'll go, I want to go, I want to go out to, uh, Pancho Villa State Park right basically in the little town of Columbus, New Mexico because, because at that time most of the northerners or the snowbirds will be heading back north so it shouldn't be too busy maybe head out toward the end of March and then kind of move over to Oliver Lee State Park and then on over to Capitan by the 1st of May because my state park pass is good or my New Mexico State Park Pass is good through the end of April. And I want to go ride my electric trike in some of those state parks, particularly that little town of Columbus. I think that'd be really neat. And then at Oliver Lee, uh, there's some places to ride around there that are just outside the park. There's some uh, Bureau of Land Management land that I may check out. But yeah, for you guys that are national parkers, uh, you know, just uh, remember that you don't need to do anything any different other than just go where the regular bikes go and you're good. All the trails are open to you. What else is coming up? Uh, not many changes coming up other than the electric bike or trike rather the e-trike after that what's going on uh just maybe uh try i may take a trip down to victoria texas in january not sure thinking about it depends on the weather and uh how crowded that little city rv park because it is because if you have to stay in an rv park in victoria texas uh, it's expensive because they still have the little oil boom going there and construction and and a little bit of a housing shortage I guess so people are filling up the RV parks and I don't I, I just couldn't pay forty dollars a night or two hundred dollars a week that that would just that, that would gag me why I don't know it's just the way I am Thanksgiving coming up next week I watched a, a, a video by a, a Slim Potato Head. He, he fascinates me, man. He does his. He calls it a. When his videos start, it says a, a Slim Potato Head production, and I have to tell you, it is. His videos are productions. He does an excellent job. Of course, he edits them and he works at them really hard, and it, and it shows because he's had a lot of success. But. I watched one this morning and he's got him a wood burning fireplace or thing he's rigged up for his A-liner camper and geez, I mean it was cold where he was man but be that you know 
he, he's kind of a backpacker type, but he's talking about getting him another RV and stuff. So good luck, slim potato head with your change over to whatever you're gonna go to. Central Texas, USA on a November day. Do we get snow here? Very, very, very rarely. In fact, the last that video I watched with Slim Potato Head, there was snow all on the ground. Man, I, I just couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it. No, no, no. Of course, I think he's from Canada, so he's probably pretty used to uh, cold temperatures, and he has the clothing and knows how to deal with it. I don't. I'll end the video when I make the turn up here on Park Road 4 and get off this traffic jam here. This is a lot of traffic to me. Park Road 4 goes by Longhorn Cavern State Park and then on around to Inks Lake State Park. Longhorn Caverns does not have of the Longhorn Cavern State Park does not have any RV campsites or any camping. It's day use only to go see the cave. And I think it's around 20 bucks for a, a tour. It's not, if you have a family of 10, it's gonna be expensive. It's a nice drive though. There's not much traffic on this road at all. I like this little drive here. It says, welcome. To Park Road 4. It's on the National Register of Historic Places. Six miles to Longhorn State Park and 12 miles to Inks Lake State Park. Inks Lake State Park in Texas is very, very busy year round. Looking forward to getting my Bolton fat tire trike tomorrow. I really am. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is see if it fits in the back of the truck. That's my pr that's my first concern. I think I'm gonna have to take the uh, handlebars off. There's you know just loosen the bolt there and they just lift out. And I think I may have to do that. I may not, but I'm planning on it. I got a big crescent wrench, it should work. Anyway guys, I'll end the video since it's so exciting, I don't wanna overpower you with all this excitement. But having said that, from Central Texas, USA, on a cloudy day, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the Amazon link in the description of all of my videos. Drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. It's good for you, it'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. And then what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep through your nose or your mouth, doesn't matter. Hold it for a few seconds, then breathe out slowly. What does that do? It lowers your stress level, and doing that lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Sure it is. And then what else? Stretch, 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 walk, 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 exercise your body once or twice a day. You may live healthier a little longer because of it. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. Most of all, don't let the media dump trash in your brain, the news media. So with that in mind, guys, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, and enjoy your life one day at a time, one moment at a time. Life ain't bad if you give it a chance. Ooh, this is a good, you ever go down a steep hill and get to the bottom and it kind of gets your stomach, you know what I mean? It kind of gives you a funny feeling. Anyway, I remember, I, this hill right here does that. Anyway, guys, adios, enjoy your day, bye-bye.